I'm back again with one of these videos where I show you how I like to find micro SaaS ideas. So today's video is on GitHub. If you don't know what GitHub is, it is like a place where um, engineers can upload all their code. So it's like a place to share your code. The way that I like to find micro SaaS ideas on GitHub is there is a search feature on GitHub. So you just go to github.com slash search. One of my favorite words I like to search is just scrape. When you search scrape, it will bring up all the code that has the word scrape in it. And you can even filter it based on the language. So let's say you only want to find projects that are in Python, right? You can click on that. But what I like to do is I just go through the entire search result and think of ideas. So let's go through this result right now. So when you search scrape, you can see these are all the code bases, right? So let's just brainstorm some, some ideas. So this one here, this person has shared their code base for scraping TikTok. So what I can do is I can possibly make an app that allows users to scrape TikTok. And from that data, I can maybe generate insights. So that's one idea. Let's just keep going. So this one here, this one is a scraper for Twitter. And this one is a scraper for OnlyFans, right? So these could all be made into web apps where the user doesn't have to actually run their own code where they can just like input whatever input on our web app and we can monetize it. these are just two ideas this one here scrape facebook public pages without an api key so this is a, another idea where you scrape facebook and this is like useful especially if the person doesn't want to set up the, the code so they they have all the code here but you have to go through and set up this code so you can just turn this code into an actual app and it will save you a lot of time because you don't have to hire a dev to actually write all this because it's all public plus you can just make improvements on top of it so that's like the other main thing the small call out is you just have to make sure the license is not if it's a mit license i think it's okay to um, copy and sell it but for some other licenses it's not legal that's just a small thing that you have to check out for if you're trying to reuse a code so the other keywords i like are data if you search data it'll give you a lot of like open source data so let's just go to a random page like page five and like here cmu pipeline course not not as interesting let's just try to find something more interesting that we can turn into a product actually let's search data set maybe this will have better results okay here i'm not sure what the actual commercial value of this would be but this is just an example where you can find people's data sets on github and then turn that into a app where you give insights this one here they have a data set of disease plant leaf images and all the labels what you can do is you can turn this into a web app and then from that you can add like a payments option so that's just one idea the other keywords i like are automate so when you search automate it will bring up all the code bases with the word automate so you scroll through and try to find some stuff that might seem interesting so this one here it has almost eight thousand stars or favorites and it's automated crypto trading bot so this could be turned into a web app where you can easily monetize it if the bot actually works this one seems pretty interesting. It's a automated YouTube that can scrape content, edit a, a compilation or upload to YouTube daily. This may be an option where you make a web app to upload shorts every day using AI. So that's the idea. Let's just find one more. This one is a Instagram bot where it will comment for you because this is a tool for on Instagram interactions. This one has over six, 16K stars and you can see that it's pretty popular. Here are all the code and here is all, all the people that have actually contributed to the project. What you can do is let's say you see this code base and you read the license and you just check to see if this is a is software that you can sell. All right, I'm not sure, but sometimes these are not legal to sell, to reuse. Like I think this one is actually, so everyone is permitted to copy and distribute the, the software. So it's good to copy and sell. But what you could do is you would use this code and you would spin up a web app where the person doesn't have to actually download it. The Microsoft would be just a app that helps you automate your social media interactions. And you can validate to see if this is a good idea in Exploding Insights. So you can just search for social media interactions. So what Exploding Insights will do is that it will tell you how much money this idea has already made. As you scroll through, you can see that these gigs have already made money, right? So you can just 
filter based on revenue. And for this idea, it's, it's already validated. This one here is manage, manage professionally your IG, Facebook, and Twitter. And this one has made over $4,000, right? So this is the product and these are like the pain points and the service ideas that you can see is already validated and making money. So it saves you a lot of time from having to build something that doesn't make money, but like this is already built, right? You, you can just use this, use this code base and turn it into a web app so that people can use it easily. Yeah, let's just do one more. All right, so here, automates resizing engine. This helps you resize stuff on your front end. So what you can do is you can just go to explain and see if this idea is valid. So you can see that people have and are paying money for this, right? So resize bulk images, retouch, and background removal. And this has made over $36,000. And if you want to check it even further, you can just click on view gigs. So this is the actual fiber gig that's made over this much money. And here are all the prices plus all the reviews at the bottom just to confirm that people have paid for it. What you can do is take this code base and make it into an app and then just market it. And the app is already built, so it saves you a lot of time. The only call out is um, sometimes the code base on GitHub are shitty. Like the code might not be the best. You just have to watch out for that.